Welcome to Unit 12, Chasing the News. If you log into any public trading chat room, I guarantee you're going to see someone in the room ask the question, what news happened that was released that caused this move? Guys, what's going on? These guys are like heroin addicts, and they're just looking for their next fix. I call them news addicts. If you ever watch your favorite finance channel on TV, and you notice how they're telling you how great a rally is, or how great the sell-off is, or how much further upside is expected due to whatever news that's going to be released or whatever idea, or geopolitical policy, or whatever it is. You ever read these finance blogs, and you ever wonder, how do they always seem to have a news story or narrative that explains the reasoning for the sell-off for when you were holding a long position? So, So really think about it for a second. These people actually want you to believe that the world's largest trading institutions have had time to read all the earnings reports and all the financial statements and all the news and press releases. They've had the time to digest that in its entirety and process the information and then place a huge trade in a matter of seconds or split seconds. And this is what they want you to believe. If that's the case, then these analysts or these traders have got to be the fastest readers on the planet. Think about that. Speed readers. (laughs) It doesn't make any sense. So what's more logical is the news happens after the fact. The move is set up prior to the news. So in this example of oil, and I don't know the specific time and date, so it doesn't really matter. Someone could go and look it up if you wanted, but here's your accumulation. Probably somewhere in here, there was a news event released probably on the oil inventories where there was a reduction in inventories. And then what do you get? You get a price that moves higher. You get a reaction. Did I need to know that there were inventories or, or what the result was? Because I could see that this was accumulation. When there's a news event, the big boys have, are already in their position. And then you get the move, you get the move higher. Okay. So it's always set up. Remember, accumulation, trend up, distribution, trend down. If that's the case, then none of this would make any sense. If, if it weren't true, we would not be able to have these predictions. If you think that news is the end-all be-all and it drives everything. If you've been misled, you're believing the narrative that the big institutions want you to believe and you're always late. Okay, so these guys know well in advance. Just think about it. They pay lots and lots of money to know in advance. If you spend the majority of your time researching whatever company and trying to figure out the news or whatever coin, whatever cryptocurrency, whatever currency, whatever product, it does not matter. When will you actually have time to read the chart and tell you what price is telling you or what it's setting up to do? You have no foundation to base your trade. So while you're busy finding the rhetoric concerning the expected outcome of the next Federal Reserve minutes, the trade happens and you miss out. So at least with technical analysis, you have some sort of stable reference point to model the shape of a price and and the mechanical process of how it moves. So you're interested in trading a financial instrument. The first question you said, does it have a chart? If the answer is yes, then, then good, you can trade it. Why? Because every chart behaves the exact same way. Every chart does the same thing over and over. We've talked about it. It accumulates. It has a trend up. It distributes. It has a trend down. At some point, there are catalysts for news events that occur. They happen and price moves. So maybe you, maybe you don't believe me. Maybe you think that I'm, I'm full of it. Well, here was a chart of Bitcoin back in May. What was this? Price was uh, 2600 I put the chart out. I said, Bitcoin is going to go down. We have been distributing. We've lost support, which we'll get into later lessons. And I said price is probably going to revisit the 1800 prior support that we had gained. What was the outcome? We came down to 1800 just as predicted. Granted, this happened a while back. This is an old chart and prediction that I had made, but it should give you the idea of what was going on. There was probably some sort of news event that occurred that the institutions or the media outlets decided that this was the reason for the 800 point move down. Okay, I drew this like a week in advance when I had just started looking at cryptocurrency. And then guess what happens? You come down 800 points basically to where we where I had said it was going to go. Did I have any idea about news? No, I don't particularly spend a lot of time reading news and trying to figure out where price is going to go. I don't have a fundamental outlook that I'm using. I'm just following price and following what the chart is telling me. This is what I want you guys to take from this. These basic concepts that I have showed you happen over and over again. You can start 
identifying levels. You can start identifying that momentum is changing. You can start identifying the trend. You can start identifying support and resistance. Don't get caught up in the trap that you need to just constantly figure out what the news is. All news does is provide you with liquidity. That is it. It provides the market with the liquidity to move price, or it's a catalyst to get price moving, that we can trade the markets. That is it. That's all I want you to take from this. Pay attention to the news in terms of what it's actually doing. You will see it on the chart first before. Maybe, for example, in oil that this this distribution was being set up, and then what's the news? Maybe there's some kind of news that uh, the OPEC countries are fighting each other for whatever reason, and they disagree, and price falls again. It does not matter if there's news or not. It's the same outcome. If accumulation and distribution occur, and this is the market structure and how price behaves, then it shouldn't really matter what the news actually is. Just the fact that there's a process, a cycle to all of this, guys. That's all you need to know. Stop wasting your time focusing and chasing the news. Stop. Don't be a news addict. Learn the processes of market structure. Be aware of when significant news events are going to happen. There are plenty of reports that come out here on FX Street. I can show you that here are all of the listings of, of news releases that are going to happen or financial releases, different times, all different countries that are you know relevant to say their currency or their whatever product it is. You can be aware of those. Just don't get caught up trying to figure out what the news is going to be. Be aware of it learn the process, and stop wasting your time 